what has happened is the government has a contract with a company called Complant, Chinese company, and their responsibility is to design and construct the roads in the Scotland district area. Uh, that is a contract which government and, the, and this, this company has. Um, this is one of the first projects that they undertook, and we had a failure uh, at the culvert at, what's that change there again? 372. Um, and after that failure, there were some investigations, and that has been redesigned. We have a failure here at, this is 190? 254. 254. And that failure uh, is the result of excavation being done to place new gabions and also discovered that there was a water leak and that did not help. And water leak plus excavations led to a, a collapse. That work is now being repaired and, well, not today because today is a bit wet, but from tomorrow that work will continue for the construction of the gabions and the replacement of the failed section of the road. So weather permitting, how long do you think the project will, would be for? How long do you think it will last? Oh, we, a week and a half, I suspect we should be back up running, um, you know, if everything goes well. But so far, everything hasn't gone well, but everything has gone well, then we can, we, we'll have it done in a week and a half, back up to the level it was pre prior to the collapse. Well, King Street is down for July. And, you know, it, it, you know if, we, if we can avoid these types of events, yes, we'll get it done in July. Uh, the idea is to have the major work constructed uh, before the rains come in. And that's what, the, that's what the aim is. Of course, to achieve that uh, would mean that the contractor will have to work maybe double shift late on the evenings and on some weekends. And we would like, obviously, with the, with the cooperation residents, we would like to have work done on most weekends, but that's a discussion that has to take place between the government of Barbados, the contractor, and, and, and the residents. To make sure that the residents don't feel as if we've abandoned them and that they have access to emergency services and irregular services that Barbadians enjoy. When we leave here, we go to White Hill. It is an, our intention that during the Scotland um, Rehabilitation Program that you will see this happening moving forward, not necessarily the site visits, but information being shared with all of the services, emergency services, letting them know about the access to the roads if they're limited or not. So this is the new way going forward to ensure the success of the Scotland District and the residents feel involved and not left behind.